how do conflicts get resolved things like that and then conflict resolution we have a few different layers maybe i suppose of conflict resolution that are that are going that you know have become part of our culture um over time um informally you know what we what promote amongst the students is you know self responsibility and speaking up for themselves and communicating clearly with each other we have a kind of a strong culture of consent in the school as well and we would teach the the children that language and about how important it is to to ask for consent but you know within a game or to ask for permission to to play a certain way with somebody or to join a game so if they have a problem an interpersonal conflict in the moment we would encourage them to sort it out for themselves if they can and if they can't then they're always free to come and ask a staff member or maybe an older student for for help and then we also have a system a judicial system we call it the just the just chat committee um, where somebody can write write a request to have a conversation with somebody in a, well, a slightly more formal setting. The, there's a group then of the committee is made up of students and staff together. And it's still, you know, it's still very informal, very respectful, very about having a conversation. It's not meant to feel, you know, terrorizing in any way for the students. Mm. The focus really is on relationship building. So it, ha- it has, I suppose, different elements of um, start of practice and different elements of that weaved into it I wouldn't say it's any specific you know type of conflict resolution mm-hmm. in particular mm-hmm. approach it's kind of developed over time over the last five or six years and it's changed a lot and there's been a lot of evolution of it so a student then could write a request to speak to somebody else or a staff member and then we meet we sit down we have a chat sometimes the, the chat is enough and that's fine if both parties feel heard and they just wanted to have a conversation other times the, the group or the individual or somebody within the meeting might say, look, I think we need another outcome from this or this has mm-hmm. happened maybe several times. Maybe that person needs to have a few mentor meetings about this or check in with their mentor. Is there some problem that you know is underlying this behavior that we might need support with or do we need to chat with the parents or, you know, it depends. There's a wide range of outcomes that could also happen from a meeting like that. Um, yeah, so that's a brief outline of, of how mm-hmm. it works. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.